sitting down with Gwendolyn Yo and talking about her new role. She's First Sergeant uh, Rochelle Yoon in ABC's highly anticipated crime drama. It's called American Crime. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it, it always goes it's down like that. You have to say that American, 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 crime. American yeah. crime. It just adds more drama to it. Yeah. What, is, what is the show about for people who haven't seen it? Well, American Crime um, stars, the linchpin of the show are Tim Hutton and Felicity Huffman, you know, mm -hmm. Academy Award uh, caliber um, actors. And they're. A son who is a war veteran is murdered along, um, and there's a home invasion. So it really starts there, and it kind of unfolds in terms of twists and turns, and sure. new characters are introduced. We can't talk about my character, how she fits in too much. Sure. But um, but it really the story is the star is written by John Ridley, who won uh, an Oscar for Twelve Years a Slave. Oh. Um, so the writing is incredible, and the ensemble of actors. Penelope and Miller and Regina King and of course you know Tim Hutton and Felicity it's amazing but I understand that you know with the other crime shows it, it involves let's say like the, the the police catching them and then going through the justice system this really deals with the families and how it affects the family and, and in the individuals involved in this crime because it's not, not only the victim but it, it it has collateral damage yes at first it really is about how one crime can trickle yes, out yeah. and some people can describe it as, as a thriller or a suspense drama mm -hmm. but it's really a family drama and if you liked traffic or crash oh great it sort of introduces um, Hispanic family storyline a um, uh, African-American storyline um, an interracial storyline is what I'm, I'm dealing with mm -hmm. um, I'm married to someone who's who's white and I'm in the military so it really kind of is a reflection of society today and the thoughts that you have and sometimes you have to check yourself on the, the sure. thoughts that you sometimes can have and it talks about the justice system sure. and what does justice mean to you or me or, or anybody else. Well, we're going to see uh, a portion of it. What, what, what part of the... So we, uh, everything's highly under wraps, but um, so we can uh, bring you a scene from the pilot episode. And you're not yeah. in it though. Right? I'm not in, I'm not in this, in this first right. scene. No, okay. I'm not in this, uh, uh, this, this scene that we're going to see. No, I'm, I'm not. Okay. I'm not allowed to be seen yet. Okay. But, um, <laughs> but there there will we you will know, I be. Could see you right we, now. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, look far, you look great. Do you see, see me? I, I just see well, all I want to be is seen, guys. Okay. <laughs> we just see you see me. Okay. And okay. um, so <laughs> they have just found. They both have found out that their son has been murdered, and they are an estranged divorced couple. And this is them trying to come together and figure out how to bring their son to justice. Right. Okay. Let's take a look. Yeah. I couldn't hardly recognize him. The detective said that the. the the gun must have been right in front and of his what face. What are the police doing? Well, they, they, they have a description of a car. It, when was Matt killed? Sunday? It's Tuesday. That All they have is a description of a car? And uh, they said that uh, they think it might be an Hispanic kid. Some illegal? Uh, just Hispanic. Why did they call you? And, uh, and they said that they, they think that maybe Gwen was... I don't understand why they called you. I'm his father. No, I, I don't understand why they called you first. You know, they just, uh, they, they found my number and they called me. What about Mark? Yeah, I wanted to, uh, you know, talk to you first. Oh, you haven't called Mark yet? No, oh, I my thought God, we should call him together. I'll call him. He's but... my son, too. I'll call him. We need to be a family now. For both our boys right now, we need to be a family. Are you anything, I know you can't really talk a lot about your character, are you anything personally like your character? Are there any similarities? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you oh, for well, that. Oh, um, yeah. Yes, okay. and scene. No, and I um, can still see you. Yeah, um, thank you. <laughs> um, well, as Paula Abdul would say, I'm pretty straight up. And, <laughs> yeah, straight up, I'll tell you. And Rochelle's really straight up. It, what I love about Rochelle Yun, she, first of all, you know, you see an Asian woman wearing a military uniform, being a first sergeant. The first thing, you, that's not the first thing that comes to mind when you wake up in the morning. Right. And, uh, you know, I just, just even that John Ridley wrote this kind of character is incredible. Yeah. Um, and she's a kind of, being in the military, she didn't go to college. She's not an officer. Mm -hmm. She came up to the ROTC. Um, and you would think being Asian, I would be typecast as the yeah. smart someone, you know. Yeah. And uh, not to say that I'm not smart, but you know, it was straight it, up. It was just straight up. Yeah. And she's and I, you know, she came from a family. Uh, most of the characters on the show have come from have been given um, a smaller card deck. 
Sure. And it's really about working through that dysfunction. And Rochelle, I think, even with a small card deck, chooses to, look, you can either be bitter about a hard life mm -hmm. or you can choose to move through uh, or create a better one for yourself. Sure. And that's her impetus, to fight for love. Um, and this is what's interesting, you know, I, I, I myself am from Singapore, I'm an immigrant, and I really am quite a patriot of this country. I know it sounds so odd, but, um, you know, I know I sound very Americanized, but I moved here when I was 11 years old. And, you know, I say Singapore gave me life, but America saved my life. How so? Oh. Um, you know, I didn't even know what hugs were until I came to America, because in Singapore culture, um, you don't really hold each other. If you say, I love you, you my, my, my dad would say happy birthday and shake my hand. So when I first moved here, um, I, I was hugged. And I'm like, you're making me emotional. Oh, okay. And I, I was like, I was became the hugger. Like I was like, "Will you hug me?" Everyone's hugging. Him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love him. America hugs, you know. And and in Singapore, in Singapore, people were like, "White people will eat you. White they will eat you." <laughs> That's what they told you. Yeah, them yeah, they yeah. Here. They're like everyone's wear. Everyone wears Levi's five hundred one jeans, and they're yeah. just they're just screaming around the streets. Like there was just there, there's such a there's there, we just didn't know. Did you sure. come here with your family? Uh, we did. We yeah, did. But there's such we all frightened. <laughs> no, we. <laughs> <laughs> um, it can be, you know, you think of America as this place that where everything is available to you. Yeah. And what was available to me was, um, you know, people used to say I, I was fat, my nose was too wide, my skin was too dark, my eyes were too small. Um, and when I came to America, people said, we love your tan, uh, <laughs> we love, you know, you're funny, you know, and we, you know, we love your curves. So I'm a curvy girl for an Asian girl, you know what I mean? But What did you learn the, your English so with I, this year? Yes, I, yes. Okay, when I first moved here, I talked like this. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Yeah, no, I really thought like this, lah, you know? Hey, Mom, hey, Christina, how are you? <laughs> you're good. And so, how did you lose the accent? How did you learn to speak English? <laughs> um, through Mean Girls at school. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, actually, after after school, I would go home, and I had appointment television with General Hospital. Do you guys watch General, General oh, Hospital? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I would just watch, and they were so articulate, and everybody was just so good looking, and 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 I saw so I would just learn the cadence of the speech, and sure. so I would just start, and I, and I had the biggest crush on Ingo Rodmacher. He oh, played, yeah, yeah, did, right? right? My yeah. goodness, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so I was yeah. like, you know, in the seventh grade, going, he is good looking, you know, <laughs> and then smash cut to, I get cast in the show for him to play my love interest. <gasps> no way. Stop it. The See, man dreams is come true English. in America. That's so they great. do. Oh, wow. That's so fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, but we're so <laughs> Was he a good kisser? He we, we we didn't even get that far. I actually someone I was replaced because then I got Desperate Housewives, which yeah. we shot just down the street from this beautiful home that you mm -hmm. shoot in. Um so but yeah, I mean our character so I, I really had a personal connection to the yeah. emotional life of Rochelle Yun because you know, I I really am a I really am such a believer in America, and I think Rochelle is such a, a believer in the military sure. and a believer in, in wanting family and wanting love. Can I have a hug? Yes. You hug yes. it out. <laughs> and let's bring out Ingo Rodmacher. Bring him out. We're going to have him in the, in the wings. No, we don't. Yeah.